Hey everyone, here is my review from From Paris with Love. Now this time I'm going to do this review a little different. I am going to do it on a scale from pros and cons. So I'm going to go to pros and then cons pretty much. And I'll barely talk about the story because the story is kind of, uh, you know, stupid. Let me just say right there. The story is stupid just right there. So that's a con right there, but I'll get to that. Anyway, the reason I'm doing this this time is because obviously you can tell I don't sound very well or at all. That's because I have a stuffed nose, I don't feel good, and blah, blah, blah. So I don't want to delay anything because I have to do this review and then a movie review tomorrow. Then Thursday I would like to do a Bioshock 2 review. And then maybe Dante's Inferno on Saturday, I would say, because Friday I'm going to see Wolfman. And if I don't see Wolfman on Friday, then Saturday I'll do the review of Wolfman. And on Friday I'll do the review on Dante's Inferno. Whew. Anyway, yeah, let's get on to this review with the pros and cons. Let me just stop here so I can catch my breath because I can't breathe because I have no nose anymore. Okay, now the story I'm not going to try to explain because I'm really, really, really dying here. So I'm just going to go say the story is pretty stupid. All it is is Jonathan Reese Myers' character, he needs a, he, he's a low level, he, not low level, uh, agent, but he's just regular undercover agent, I guess, and then he gets promoted to be a field agent, and then he gets a partner, his name is Charlie Wax, and he's played by Jonathan, uh, Jonathan, uh, John Travolta, and they pretty much go around stopping terrorists, there you go, that's the story, okay, in Paris, so you never really see them kill a Frenchman, you just see, uh, them kill Asians, and you kill Middle Easterns, so yeah, but they're, you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's the story. I know, it's pretty stupid, pretty silly, but let's go on to the pros and cons like I was talking about. I wrote them all down so I could get through this pretty quick, and I'll tell you my final score at the end of okay -o? So let's get on. Okay, now I'm going to do the pros and cons now, and uh, obviously I just said that before. And I'm going to do five pros and pro uh, five cons, and I'm going to read them kind of quick so I can get to the final score. So let's go on to the pros. The pros, the number one one, hello. Uh, the first one is John Travolta is awesome and fun. He is. He's very badass in this. He's really funny, and he's just fun overall. He's a fun character in this, and I would love to see more of this character, Charlie Wax. Uh, he's just badass. And then when he needs to be, he he's smart. He's like a smart guy, too. He ain't like, a, duh, duh, I just beat up people. I, I crack jokes. Hey. No, he's a pretty, pretty, pretty smart in this. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Okay, no, the second one is action. The action scenes keep you very excited because when the action scenes are there with Charlie Wax, oh my god, they're badass. And this is, uh, you know, I won't get to that. It's just badass action scenes, okay? Number three, it doesn't bore you at all. It really doesn't. Uh, except I will say this, the first ten minutes are really boring, okay? Let me just say right there. Okay, so... Okay, the whole movie doesn't bore you except the first ten minutes. That's what I meant. <laughs> okay, the rest of that is really fun. The first ten, really boring. The last, I mean the rest, not. It's very, 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 very fun after <laughs> the first ten minutes. Anyway, no, number four is from the director of Taken, Pierre Morel. That's his name. And Taken, it was a badass movie about uh, a guy ripping up France, right? France? Paris? And guess what? They're back in Paris. I think it was Paris, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. So now he's back in Paris, and he's uh, screwing more stuff up. Okay, so uh, with his directing. Anyway, number five is it has an unexpected twist, which wa which was really, really, really cool. I didn't expect a twist in this movie, and it was very unexpected. So those were my five pros. Let's go into the cons. Cons, Jonathan Reese Myers was very bland in his role in this movie. and most parts, he was bland. And I would say in some he was decent, but most parts he was very bland and kind of annoying. And let's talk about annoying. The girl in the movie who plays his fiance, uh, she's a French chick too. I forgot her name, but she was really annoying, but she was hot. I'll just say right there. She was really annoying in this. Uh, I would say she's really annoying because, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to spoil it. So she, she's really annoying and kind of comes out of nowhere, to be honest, uh, later on in the movie. The all right, number three, the first ten minutes are really boring, like I said before. Uh, it's uh, All it is is him doing his job where he switches license plates for no reason. They don't tell us why. He just does it, okay? And him meeting up with his girlfriend and going, moo, moo, I love you, moo, 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 okay? And it was very boring. Number four, this is probably the last time we'll see the character of Charlie Wax because this movie bombed. 
big time. And I was I was really sad too because I would love to see this character again, just like I would love to see the character of Liam Neeson's character in Taken. That didn't sound right at all. The character of Liam Neeson's character, <laughs> all right, like Liam Neeson's character in Taken. That's what I meant. Uh, so yeah, this is probably last time we'll see Charlie Wax, but hey. Maybe we'll see more of him later. Maybe somehow I don't know. Uh, I mean, he was he was a great character. I would love to see more of him. Like I said, uh, and number five, the story was silly. There you go. I told you why it was just stupid. So let me just go into the final score. I really liked the movie. It was fun. Uh, it was very fun. John Travolta was cool, even though Jonathan Reese Myers not so much. But I really like Jonathan. I mean, John Travolta, and he's in it most of the time. Not the first ten minutes, but after that, he's pretty much in it every scene. And he does some badass stuff. So I definitely recommend this film. I give it an 8 out of 10. I really liked it. Uh, yeah, it's just a fun movie. Definitely go see it. I saw it in a crowd w uh, with two other people. I saw it yesterday, Monday, at like 8 o'clock. And that's not the good time to go see a movie like this, which bombs. Okay, I had two other people in the theater with me. And it was very uncomfortable. So, yeah. Anyway... That's all I got to say. I know it actually ran a little bit longer than I thought, but whatever. I didn't run out of breath, so whatever. If you like this pros and cons thing, then tell me. Then I'll start using it. But I doubt it because I did stumble a lot. So, yeah. Sorry about that again. Really, this one, this one you can't blame me. I'm, I'm sick because of the fucking weather, okay? I'm sorry. I have to go out and freaking drive everywhere and shit, you know. Uh, Yeah, so it's it's cold here. So I'm a little sick right now. They got to go to school tomorrow, yay. So, anyway, that's all I got to say. Uh, yes, college does close for snow days, too. Definitely, even more so if you're not on campus, <laughs> because my college isn't a campus. So, yeah, I drive there, commute. Anyway, there you go. Enough with my uh, stupidness. 8 out of 10, good movie. Go check it out. Bye.